What do we need to happen? Do we need a general election? I'm heading towards thinking that, yes. And that would be, I think, the end of the Conservative Party for potentially a generation, mm. I think, because they're not going to get in. I think Labour are, what, 36, 37 points ahead now? I can't keep up. Um, so much has changed over the past literally hour. As soon as you, you know, walk away from your phone or, or the TV or the radio, everything changes again. Um, it, it, it's been quite astonishing. In, in 36 years of journalism, I've never witnessed a meltdown like this in politics. Um, I, I, don't, I don't ever remember feeling as, and I'm, I'm sure people out there are feeling the same, as confused and depressed about where we're going now, Dan. Be previously, you could see an, an answer, you could see a way mm. out. I can't actually, been racking my brains all day, work out where we go from here. I, I think um, I'd never thought Liz Truss was the right woman for the job. I think you had the rock and hard place of her, Rishi Sunak. Um, I don't know who is the answer that's left in the party. I mean, that cabinet is falling apart, you know, faster than something from Ikea that I'd put together. <laughs> it's, I, I honestly am at a loss as to say what's going what's gonna to happen. I mean, with the, with the general election scenario, I don't even understand the mechanics now that could get a general election to happen. That's not that easy. That's not an easy path forward either. The, the only thing I do know is that Liz Truss has to go and I think she'll be gone probably just before Halloween. Well, my mind's blown uh, by much tonight, but especially the fact that you started in journalism, Dawn as a five-year-old. Uh, <laughs> Brooks.